Hello, hello, hello. What's happening, everybody? MCOC Droid does back again for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. So, as you can see from the title of this video, it's time to open up some AQ crystals. Uh, if you missed it last time, what I've decided to do now is to open these up after every two AQ series. So, basically, every, you know, 16, 17 days or so, let the crystals build up um, and then open them all. Uh, just as a quick check in on my catalyst stash, um, let's go ahead and start with the tier fours. So still pretty balanced. If you remember from last time, um, not topped out on anything, which is nice. I don't have anything in the stash, which is nice. So no overflow, uh, definitely been building up the tier four basics. I'm hoping to do some decent rank up soon. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm recording this on Saturday. Uh, it's the morning right now. I'll be doing the symbiote run at uh you know later on tonight so i'm going to be opening up at least one featured crystal maybe two we'll see how it goes and uh based on who i pull if it's you know somebody new that's great <coughs> domino <coughs> corvus um they're definitely going to get ranked up pretty quickly um if i can dupe my captain america or iron man infinity war either of them would go to rank four um so i definitely have you know a fair amount of materials ready to go um, and of course I've got the gold. So let's just go ahead and hop over to the crystals. Uh, or I guess the other thing I didn't look at were the, uh, tier one and tier two alphas. I believe I'm maxed out on tier one alphas. Not that I can get these from the crystals anyway, but just wanted to add that to the mix. Yeah. So I'm maxed out on those. Uh, I did form this second tier two alpha from doing the first run of Epic the other night, which was great. Um, but yeah, obviously still rebuilding. I need a lot of those, you know, so I can do some more rank ups. Um, you know, still rebuilding after taking Medusa to rank five a little while back. Um, I do also have, I know this is separate from AQ. Um, I have not opened any of the tier five lab crystals, as you can see. So I've built up 34 of them. There'll be a total of 70 by the end of the event. I don't know if I'm going to wait till the very end or if I'm going to split it up. We'll see how it goes. But, um, obviously I'm right at the halfway point and I can get tier five basic in addition to tier two alpha frags, um, from the crystals. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But tier two alpha, definitely the main priority right now. Just keep rebuilding, rebuilding, rebuilding. Um, so here's the stash for this time, 39 map five crystals and 11 of the map six crystals. Um, a little bit under what we normally do, you know, had some, uh, person, personnel shifting um after the alliance war season ended which is to be expected you know people wait until the end of the season or you know having to uh rebalance the alliance i suppose so especially like like that first week you know was uh, a little under what we normally do uh, that's right i always forget there are no reels with these so just spinning one for the heck of it i'll do the same for the uh, map six crystals and then just pop open the rest um, so 800 tier 4 basic frags and 400 tier 4 mystics. So again, if you missed it, we're now in season 5 of Alliance Quest and these crystals, pretty much all crystals across the board, got a boost in the drop rates and the fragments that you can get from all of them. So let's go ahead and smash open this 10. Um, jumping up nice to uh, about 8,000 tier 4 basic frags. Not too shabby. Nothing full um, and no um cost or not cosmic tech frags interestingly enough but uh go ahead and smash open the next set of 10 and i am forming a basic so there you go that puts me up to 12 i believe and there's some tech frags next set of 10 um anything new um oh pulled a full mystic so there you go maybe that's a sign of things to come duping my magic or something like that would definitely take her to rank four as well if i got her from a featured crystal um and let me go ahead and do this last set of eight and all right that's it so you know pretty pretty well balanced across the board in terms of the um actual class frags and then yeah formed the tier four basic to bring that up to 12 and got a fully formed tier four mystic so not too shabby all right so let's move on to the to the uh, map six crystals i'll just spin one out for the heck of it and then i can smash open the last set of 10 come on tier two alpha that's what that tap was for clearly <laughs> all right let's see what this is going to be and 
800 tier 4 basic frags. Okay. And good. That was the symbol I wanted to see. So 457 tier 2 alpha frags. Not bad. Let's go ahead and smash open this set of 10. Let's see what that jumps up to. Uh, not too much more. 457 went up to 1544. So didn't get too lucky on uh, tier 2 alpha frags. Um, didn't pull anything else fully formed. So yeah, pretty, pretty standard for a set of 10 here. Not too shabby. Uh, so yeah, that will wrap it up. Like I said, I'm going to be doing these after every two series. So every 16-ish days or so. Uh, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button and comment down below. If you or anyone you know has been lucky to pull a fully formed Tier 2 Alpha from a Map 6 Crystal. Because that was another big change to Season 5. It's a very small chance, but it is possible. If you're not already a subscriber, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And be sure to ring the bell so you get notified whenever I go live. Or whenever content is added to the channel. Aside from that, thanks everybody for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time.